Today we make celebration art because actually we hit 200 subscribers and so I wanted to make a little bit of an illustration about it. Let's see what I will do. Hello my friend, how are you? I hope that you feel very nice today because we are making a little bit more of a happy art because as I hit 200 subscribers on this channel I wanted to make a little bit of a concept design on how much 200 people are in actuality because hmm they are quite a lot if you think about it I will do a little bit of a speed paint while I ramble about the fact that I love having these 200 people subscribed to my little little YouTube channel let's take the speed paint and let's go talking okay I'm beginning this drawing thinking how much 200 people are in actuality because if you think about it during our times in the social networks you can actually think that 200 people are not a lot of people of course like there are so many other like content creators that have so so many and so you think yeah it's not that much don't you ever stop and think that one subscriber is actually a whole person that has decided to click follow you see one number but in actuality there's a whole person behind that only one number and so I wanted to create this design this concept because it's not a full illustration but I wanted to understand how many people are 200 people and if it would be that difficult to draw them all together in one space and so I took in the very beginning a lot of squares and I put them all together and made 200 of them and so after that I put the perspective onto the canvas because I wanted to make this room empty full of only your people that are following you so you can see that I began to create this strange closed space kind of claustrophobic if you ask me if it was real the concept is the room and the concept is the quantity of the people and not the singular person per se you can see that I quite struggled putting all the people in the lines in a very well manner because it was quite a difficult concept for me because I usually don't draw a lot of people I usually draw the subject and that's it and I want to create maybe the background surrounding the subject I think that I quite understood how many 200 people actually are because when you are drawing it it's like a little bit different of just photographing 200 people in my opinion you are just drawing each and every one of them so you need to understand where does each individual go inside of this room and so yeah I took the first row of people just to make it simple to create this perspective with a correct amount of heads because I think especially on the back of this phantomatic room it could be quite difficult to create every single head of every single people if you don't copy the first row because on the back your mind just goes like blurry you do not understand where and each head could go and so this way was easier on my eyes I think <laughs> in this room you have a source of light that I wanted to make from the back the only wall that you can see in its fullest and then that is the part where this pink light will come through and so I made the shadows up on the ground especially on the feet because of course you need to have quite a lot of darkness under there so you can see the density of these people like staying all together I think that it was a very good challenge mm -hmm, to create this light shadow kind of thing and then also I think that I did it was to create the lights above them because I thought that I had quite a lot of people and that is the main part on the floor but I wanted to make something also on the walls and especially on the rooftop 
I wanted to create this kind of balance between the bottom and the top. I took a little bit of a light bulbs and put them all around. I didn't count them but they should be around 200 still because I took the same squares that I took for every people and just drew a light bulb inside. So balance, you know, balance, yes. While creating this piece was actually pretty interesting for me because you can totally see that while you see it in numbers and you see it physically how many people are this kind of number like you can actually have a good perspective over it and then appreciate more the tiny number that you have like if you think about it take your room for example that you're standing in watching this video and look around you and see how many people would this room fit 10 15 20 30 like if you squish them as i did in this concept like how many people and then watch again your kind of follower count and then you're like oh these kind of people could actually fit my whole house <laughs> like this is cool i get it like if you have like high high numbers like you are like oh wow i love this i love it too but actually have you ever stopped and compared the number to the physical person because that is actually so interesting we are too used to see only these kind of numbers and see oh it's always not too much but then actually it is a lot but just like you're counting with different metrics and not seeing the person and so i think that i find it very interesting and so this is why i wanted to make this concept i had fun with it but let's just go back to the drawing and see the walls i put a few patterns because i wanted to make a little bit of a more believable concept and if i just drew the flat colors maybe it would be just meh but i always suggest to put patterns on it and i took a lead kind of you know disco party night <laughs> kind of thing and put this all over the last wall that you can see and very easy looking patterns on the other walls so to create a little bit more of a contrast between them right i tried also to make the light bounce the the light that is on the back on the heads of the people it was kind of difficult because my eyes were going like uh like that at some point especially in the smallest heads of those people like on the very back back it was like kind of difficult but i tried my best let me show you the final piece here we go this is the final drawing that i did it is just a concept but yeah i think that it makes a great deal to let you see the quantity and so yeah i decided to name this illustration 200 because i'm very basic and i'm not very good at names and so this is 200 also i've made a little bit of different versions because i wanted to take different colors and so as a true nightclub looking place of course you will have different strobe lights that go everywhere and so i put here all the different versions ta 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 tu du du pa pa pe sch ka ka okay all these weird noises for you i hope you like them yeah and so tell me which one was your favorite and tell me which color do you prefer and tell me your interpretation of the numbers that you have on your follower list have you ever thought about making this comparison number to person or like you just see the number or you see just the person let me know i'm very curious and so yeah i think that i finished for today and i will see you in another video right okay i'll do my outro as always thank you so 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 much for giving me your most precious coin your time coin and i will see you in the next video right bye bye by the end of the day i'm very grateful of your decision of putting your subscription onto my channel not counting my whole three accounts that i subscribed myself into this channel um i can say that yeah 
the 200 is still a good amount of people that I don't know because I also have a few of my friends than my mom and so yeah <laughs> thank you thank you very very much and peace